The Evolution of Asthma Blues is a two-part video that tells the story of asthma blues, the music-based educational bridge to improvement in asthma knowledge and self-management skills. The video follows asthma blues from the beginning with the pilot done in a school on the south side of Chicago with five through seven-year-olds in grades K through two through collaborative projects with the University of Missouri Children's Hospital, Asthma Ready Communities, the Allergy and Asthma Network, the Association of Asthma Educators, and a study done at Rush University Medical Center in Chicago with the subsequent results published in the AARC journal, Respiratory Care Education Annual. This is part one of the informative two-part video, The Evolution of Asthma Blues. Visit my website, www.asthmablues.com, where the Asthma Blues CD and book called the Self-Empowerment Kit is available for the very affordable price of $12. Improve your asthma knowledge and self-management skills with Asthma Blues. Asthma Blues is an entertaining and easy-to-use program that effectively communicates key concepts of asthma management. One of the unique advantages of our music-based program is that young children and those with limited reading skills or low literacy levels can participate and benefit from asthma blues. Patients, families, and caregivers can learn key concepts of asthma management through the application of music with an educational message. Asthma Blues Pilot was done with 77 multicultural children, grades K through 2, age 5 through 7 years. Children were divided into four groups. Songs played were Asthma Blues and Get Your Peak Flow On. We discussed the asthma terms and management concepts represented in the songs as lyrics. Listen to the music from Asthma Blues and discuss its content. This is a small example of the feedback I received from the children about Asthma Blues, the content, and how it relates to asthma knowledge. Six months later, I returned to Namaste in an effort to measure the children's retention of the information delivered in the listening and discussion sessions. Just kind of have fun and listen, and I'm going to ask some questions again. And the questions are the same thing. What did you hear in the song that has something to do with asthma? Remember, whatever, whatever you talk about, something, anything in the song that has to do with asthma. You know, when, when we do this, just kind of want you to just relax and uh, relax into it and, and have fun, just like we did last time. And when we find out what we're hearing, um, we're just going to write it on the board. Okay? Yep. On the board, just like last time. After the listening session, the response that I got from the children was amazing. Not only did they remember the terms and the concepts that we discussed six months earlier, but some even went on to understand and study more about asthma because of the fact that they had family members with asthma. The excitement in the room was palpable and the learning atmosphere was infectious. The feedback from the children supported the science of music and learning and validated in my mind that we needed to continue with Asthma Blues.
In addition to the first two songs from Asthma Blues, five more were written to complete the project. The seven-song Asthma Blues CD was created to explain asthma in its most basic sense, illustrate the physiology of bronchoconstriction and inflammation, deliver strategies for asthma management, and equip with tools for asthma control. The music from Asthma Blues is very closely aligned with the patient education goals outlined in Section 3, Component 2 of the EPR3. Asthma Blues also delivers five of the six key priority messages outlined in the GIP report. These messages are delivered through seven songs of different musical genres, such as blues, country and western, hip-hop, reggae, R&B, and rock and roll. The seven-song Asthma Blues Asthma Education Music CD was released in June 2007, one month before the EPR3 publication date of July 2007. The seven songs on the Asthma Blues CD are Asthma Blues, Get Your Peak Flow On, Control, Asthma Triggers, Breathing Right, 10 Minutes to Take a Neb, and You Need an Action Plan. The Asthma Blues cover was created to showcase the marriage of my two passions in life, music and respiratory care. The image of the lab coat, stethoscope, and the electric bass ties the concept together. Since the stethoscope is used to amplify sounds in the lung, I decided that it would be fitting to place it on the bass guitar to create a picture of listening and amplifying the evidence-based concepts for asthma management that are written into the music. The Asthma Blues Man was created to bring the concept on the Asthma Blues CD cover to life and set the stage for promotion through Asthma Blues Live. The Asthma Control Everyday Video is a multifaceted asthma education collaboration between the Missouri Foundation for Health, AsthmaReady.org, the University of Missouri Children's Hospital, and CTK Clinical Consultants, LLC. The ACE video showcases the ACE program created for the school-aged child with asthma and their family. This asthma self-management program that opens with the music from Asthma Blues provides an evidence-based learning opportunity and focuses on four key messages. The importance of taking an ICS twice a day, every day, how medication is breathed into the lungs, inhalation technique, how to avoid asthma triggers in your daily environment, and the importance of measuring airflow. The program is based on self-regulation theory and aims to promote self-care by school-aged children with oversight and coaching by parents. Cartoons, music videos, and celebrities deliver the four key messages and information about quick relief medications, nose care, and coaching tips for parents and caregivers. And now, a word from Dr. Ben Francisco. And now, the ACE video. Let's start the show. I'm having trouble breathing. I'm coughing and I'm wheezing. It's hard to get my air in and out. I'm in a bad
There's another person here today that I want you to meet. Al Keith is a respiratory therapist and a jazz musician. Al, can you tell us about what a respiratory therapist does and why you sing about asthma? Respiratory therapists do a variety of things. Um, we do breathing treatments, we help to evaluate patients, and we do diagnostic tests to find out different things about asthma and where people are in their asthma journey. As far as singing about asthma, I have created an asthma program called Asthma Blues, which uses the science of music and learning. Through the science of music and learning, we can take things to manage asthma, attach them to the music, and help people to remember them because these things that are attached to music have the ability to store themselves into memory. And that particular method helps people to remember things that they should learn about controlling asthma and how to manage asthma. We look forward to hearing your music a little bit later. There's something going on with my breathing Something going on and it ain't right There must be something wrong with my breathing I'm wheezing and my chest feels tight I just used my rescue inhaler Did the medication help? How will I know? Using a peak flow meter can tell you how well the airways in your lungs are working. It can measure the response to asthma triggers or asthma medication. It can provide helpful information to you and your doctor for the purpose of identifying triggers and adjusting asthma medication. Al, can you help us remember how important it is to take your ICS twice every day to get asthma under control? I sure can. Cause if you wanna stay on top of your game, you got to understand the name of the game. It's control. C O N T R O L. Control. I'm here to talk to you about your compliance. Blowing off your medication is an act of defiance. I'm delivering a concept I want you to stay with. You need to know asthma's nothing to play with. Taking control of asthma involves the use of controller medicines. Controller medicines are taken on a long-term basis to control symptoms. Controller medicines are taken daily and work to prevent airway inflammation and reduce inflammation that may already exist. When you're talking with your doctor, you should ask questions such as, what is the medicine supposed to do? When should I take it? And how does it work? For asthma medicine to work effectively, you need to take it in the amount and with the frequency prescribed by your doctor. There is no room for guesswork or miscommunication in asthma. Cause if you want to stay on top of your game, you got to understand the name of the game. It's control. C-O-N-T-R-O-L. Control. I'm bringing you valuable information. Stay on top of your control of medication. If we can control inflammation, we can minimize attacks all across the nation. Cause if you want to stay on top of your game, you got to understand the name of the game. It's control. C O N T R O L. Control. Can you get with this? I think we got it, Al. Al, do you have a song to help us remember that avoiding triggers every day is a key action for keeping asthma under control? Yes, I do, Tammy. I actually wrote a song to help us identify and avoid our asthma triggers every day. If you walk into a room and get short of breath, look to the right and look to the left for a trigger. Asthma trigger. It's an asthma trigger. It'll take your breath away. If you're standing outside and start to sneeze, standing outside and you start to wheeze, it's a trigger.
very basic but important part of asthma management is the identification and avoidance of asthma triggers. If you can avoid these triggers, you will gradually notice less coughing, fewer nighttime awakenings, easier breathing, and it is possible that you can increase your activity level. Common irritants and conditions in your body that can trigger asthma symptoms include vigorous exercise in cold air, smoke from tobacco and other sources, air pollution, certain medications, and respiratory infections. To help with getting asthma under control, start by thinking about what your asthma triggers are. Then make a list of the triggers in your environment and take steps to eliminate or minimize them. Remember, asthma can be controlled. Thank you, Al. That really makes it clear. Just because you have asthma doesn't mean it should stop you from achieving your goals and your dreams. The sky is the limit as far as I'm concerned, especially if you're working closely to monitor your asthma with your doctor and with the help of your parents and caregivers to take those medicines every day and the right way. It will help you to achieve anything that you can think of. When I'm breathing right, my chest is not tight. I can take a deep breath in and out. When I'm breathing right, my future looks bright. I can plan activities without doubt. When I'm self-empowerment kit the cd and book for twelve dollars through paypal at www.asthmablues.com email us al at asthmablues.com 